This is my bedroom. This is where I was in high school. Well, I've been in this room off and on for 20 years. It's pretty much the way it was when I was in high school. I do feel like a high school kid again in a way. I'm in the same place I was back in high school. I don't like living at home. I really don't. I can't move out because I don't want to leave my kids here. I haven't been able to get back on my feet. I've tried and it just didn't work out for me. I do not have a car at this moment. Uh, I do, but they're broke down in the driveway. This car's been here about a year. It has a blown engine. And I haven't had the cash to get a new one. I'd prefer to hang out in my room, but it's driving me crazy staying here. I just stay in my room and do nothing. Watch TV. I play video games on occasion. Uh, now I try to go out at least once or twice a week, and you know, I go hang out with my friends. Every now and then I'll smoke a joint. My mother used to nag me about getting a job all the time, but now that I have one, it's every few often you need to get a better job. She's not happy no matter what I do, it seems like. My mother nags about helping around the house. I feel stuck in my life. This is not what I pictured when I graduated high school. I'm tired of living here. I don't want to live here. And I'm just ready to move out. OK, so Jeff, you're an aircraft mechanic by training. Yes, I was. And what'd you work on? Um, um, B-52s. B-52s? Yes. Complex airplanes. Yeah, they are pretty complex. I mean, yeah. many uh, different flight systems, but yeah. Right. And so you have two certifications? Mm-hmm. What, what are they? Uh, I have an electronic service certification and I have a mechanics one for aircraft school. Electronics certification for aircraft? Mm-hmm. Well, congratulations on that. That's, um, I've been a pilot since I was a teenager and I've flown everything from a Piper Tri-Pacer to a Gulfstream. Those are very complex systems that require redundancy and highly sophisticated maintenance because if something goes wrong you can't like pull over and get out right right so that's you, you must be really proud of that yeah i was was for a long time yeah um when was the last time you used that skill uh probably 20 years ago reckon why you're not doing that i failed the drug test uh-huh so i can't do that now yeah, so you got to be drug free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which if you're drug free, then you can. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would want you to be drug free if you were working on my airplane. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Uh, but you have the skill set, and that's not easy to learn, so you're obviously intelligent. He's wicked smart. He just refuses to apply himself. Yeah. You said you didn't think that things were that bad until you got a call from right, Dr. Right. Phil. I didn't real. I honestly didn't realize how bad they were. I could get that if we were talking about 16 weeks or even 16 months. Right. But we're talking about 16 years. That's four presidents. Your youngest son has never known anything other than your mom's house, ever. Yeah, that is true. H how did that happen? Uh, you know, me and my ex were together for seven years. We uh, having troubles the last three, so we decided to get married, and that made it worse. Um, so we had to get a divorce, and I couldn't afford where I was living at the time, so I had to talk to my father, and he allowed me to move in. Do you think he had any idea that you were going to be there f for going on two decades? No, he didn't. Did I you plan to be there no, for two decades? No, I only planned on being there for a couple of years. A couple of years? Well, I, I was way in debt. It's always somebody Take else's me. fault. Like, that's ridiculous. Well, like, hell, take bankruptcy, hit the reset button, and start over. But you don't live with your mother when you're 45. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.